Hi folks, this topic is all the rage right now, so I thought I'd put my hat into the ring and do my review of the latest sensation in the Star Wars series, The Last Jedi. I need someone to show me my place in all this. The movie was okay. I'm a little bit tired of Star Wars. I'm a bit fatigued on just the whole aesthetic of it. Even just the music and the sound effects, the ship designs and the simplistic dialogue of good versus evil, light versus dark. I'm kind of fatigued by Star Wars. Definitely the excitement and sheen of it has gone for me a long time ago. But nonetheless, gotta stay plugged in with society. Before we begin, a little bit of a recap about The Force Awakens, the movie prior to The Last Jedi. <laughs> Just let it in. In The Force Awakens, there was a female, a woman called Rey. Rey was biologically and physically female. She's got a vagina and she's walking around the whole movie being like, I'm a female. Now on her journey, there is a black man called Finn. He's like, I am black. That's all there is to say about him. They are fighting against the New Order. What's the New Order? Well, when the Empire was defeated because old man Vader got pwned by Luke Skywalker, who was his son, a bunch of the people were like, well, we're fucked now. Let's get out of here. We're going. And then they left. They went off somewhere else. And then they were like, we got some ships left over. We got some uniforms lying around. Let's just start the Empire again, but we'll call it the New Order and then we'll make another Death Star thingy. Except we'll call it the Planet Killer so that it's different. So they were like, let's destroy everybody in the universe and we'll blow this up and blow up that. And then Ray was like, no! And the black guy. Vagina, black, stop it. And then they did all this fighting and shit. Bim bella bam. Suddenly Luke Skywalker's hanging around and then she's all like, yeah, let's fight and shit. And then he's like, okay. Woman. Um. And Princess Leia was there, but she's changed her hairstyle. So that was The Force Awakens. Now in this current movie, Rey, who has gone to the island, she meets up with Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is hanging around on this place. He went away from society and he's very unhappy. The stated reason is that he is scared of somebody who's very powerful in the Force. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. So he decided to go away. However, in my opinion, I think he's obviously struggling with his gender. He is thinking about becoming non-binary and he doesn't know how to handle his social and perhaps physical transition into his new gender identity. So he needed to be isolated to think about it. And then this woman shows up. She's just rubbing her cisgenderness all over him. And he's like, could you get the fuck off my island? Like, I'm struggling with my identity. And she's all like cisplaining, like, no, you'll teach me how to use the force because cis people are so much better than you non-binaries. That's not even a real thing. It looks like, fuck you. I won't fucking train you. You're anti-non-binary. And she's all like, well, you think the new order's gonna be so tolerant of non-binary people? They're basically space Nazis and he's like, okay, good point, I guess. And so they make a deal that he'll train her if she helps him with the finances for a surgery. At least that was my reading of it. In the meantime, Kylo Ren is hanging around in space and he's struggling on his own with the fact that there's a massive gender pay gap inside the fleet. And he tries to get around that by just only hiring white males. It's just really patriarchal. It makes you hate the character a lot. None of the people on this ship have benefits. The women don't have maternity leave. And you can see the market incentives for this male-centric new order. And so we expect it to be better when we go to the Rebellion, but surprise, surprise, it's not. Even in the Rebellion, there's a massive pay gap. General Leia only marginally makes more of a salary than General Akbar. If trap. this is the case of things that far in the future, I mean, it doesn't look good for us, does it? So then Poe comes in, he's all mansplaining. Say what I say, do what I do. And then Leia's like, fuck this, she leaves. And then the other lady who has purple hair, she's like, Where supposed to be better than the new order. We're supposed to have pay equity. We're supposed to have maternity leave. I have control over my own body and my own ship. And the guy's like, no, you don't. You will do what I say. And she's like, that's like how the new order talks. You have to get off my ship. He's like, fuck you. Just because I'm a white male. 
fuck this shit. But it eventually all comes together when they can all agree on progressive values. And they set up a more kind of egalitarian communal system, which is also influenced by the progressive stack, I believe. So that everybody, no matter what their race or gender or planet of origin, can have a say in the coming plan. In the meantime, New Order's doing a lot worse. Kylo Ren is obviously struggling with being gay, and it's really not funny. He's a victim of his own internalized homophobia. He cannot except who he really is, which turns him to rage against other men. And he eventually comes to believe that the only way to solve the things is by dehumanizing his enemies and thinking of them all as space communists, and that's how he justifies murdering them. But eventually Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker meet on the field of ideas. Kylo discusses how hard it's been for him to come out of the closet, and Luke comes to relate to him over his gender identity issues and explains how space is not ready for somebody like him. And then Luke's like, you know what, I'm done, and he kills himself. So he's another victim of trans suicide and shame. And I gotta say, some of the political messages in this movie are very overt and very over the top and some people are not going to like them. It hits you over the head with all of these hot button issues and themes. I think some people just want to go to a movie to be entertained. If that's what you're going for, that's not what you're going to get. There's a lot of things about the inner workings of power, about questions of identity, gender, race. But I think everybody from a fascist to a conservative to a anarcho-communist to a libertarian to a progressive liberal like myself, everybody's going to get something out of this film. So I give this movie 2 out of 10. Much too political for me. If you want to turn off your mind and just have a fun entertaining time, don't see this film. But if you want to think about life, really think about life. This is the movie for you. Till next time, Demotivator out. I am looking for girl to sleep on my body, to touch my six pack, to feel my chest, and I want a girl to go to the movies with me, hold hands with me, and have sex with me. I got a chest, I got a six pack,